You can learn more about the sculpture in area cemeteries by going to our website, mpt.org. Well, I want to ask you something. Have you ever found a photograph on the street and just picked it up and wondered who you were looking at and whose life you were peering into? Well, there's an artist who specializes into turning the mystery of such photos into found works of art. Spoon Popkins is a Baltimore artist who's been a real gem on the local art scene for the past 15 years. She has a talent for revealing the hidden emotional elements from found pieces that reveal our innate connection to one another, and we're really delighted that she's here to share her work with us. Spoon, thank you for being here, and how did you get the name Spoon? I have to ask you. Well, um, when I was about 16 or 17, I was looking for a new name that I guess I could adopt as an adult name, and I always loved alliteration, so Spoon Popkin, it just sort of came. Just I don't know. did it. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. It seemed to suit me. Yeah. I'm sure it does. Now, just saying that you're an artist doesn't really seem to me to adequately describe you. You are a painter, you're a performer, uh, you're into music, you're into film. How would you describe yourself? You know, I, whatever opportunity happens, I'm open to it and interested in it. Uh -huh. you know, a anything, really. I guess it's not turning a blind eye anywhere. You have a new series, and it's based on found photographs. Mm -hmm. And I love something you said. Now, this isn't exactly the quote, but you said, it's not necessarily about the person that we see in the photograph, but their relation to the person who took the photo. And mm -hmm. I, I think that's so interesting. T talk about that a little bit. Well, I mean, the, the photographs, the way that they're looking out of them is definitely like this is not a way that you look at your mother. This is not a way that you look at your brother. Like there's an el this emotional element of like you know when your friend drives you crazy and then they whip out the camera to get you a shot of you in that moment when you just can't stop yourself. You know there's just they're just bare and open. Let's take a look at some of them and, and okay. talk a little bit about them. Okay. Right. Um, what about this one? Oh, this is the wedding night fight. Uh, he is just partying hard at that point of the evening where anything could happen. Uh, a lot of people think it looks like Muhammad Ali, but I've been telling them that it's actually Will Smith as Muhammad Ali. <laughs> His real inspiration. Right, and let's look at another one right now. What, tell us about that. Uh, this is Cake Envy, Bad Girls, and it felt to me like the, the girl in the forefront is sort of oblivious. She's enjoying herself. Perhaps she's looking at her mother, but the other girl behind her has these sort of dark emotions where she's, you know, maybe bitter and angry right. at this other girl, but the other girl has no idea. She's just tra-la-la. -la. That's another one. I, I want to move on because there's one I want to mm -hmm. get to. Let's take a look at another one of these. That one. Uh, okay. What the about blue that baby? baby? Yeah. Uh, you know, in the original image, the rest of the photograph is perfectly normal coloration. He's outside in the sunshine, um, and a friend of mine who's a doctor at Hopkins told me the clinical name for it. Basically, I guess he's oxygen deprived, but there's something very alien and otherworldly about him, and I don't know. He's a very mysterious child. What happened to this child? I don't know, Spoon. But I, have to, okay? I, I don't want to rush you along. We don't have a lot of time, but you mm -hmm. don't just use regular paint brushes. Mm. Uh, let us see some of the things you have here. Well, um, it all started when I made the super brush, uh, yeah. which came to me in a dream. People laughed. Uh, you actually paint with this variety of combs mm -hmm. you have here? Yeah, I have combs and Afro picks uh -huh. and all kinds of different things. And these, um, tell me. These I've been starting to use icing tips to make a thicker pattern. And here, let me show you. All right. I mean, first of all, it looks like a lot of fun. It is a lot do. of fun. Well, you know, once you start realizing you can use anything to make a painting, you can really use anything you want to make a painting. Oh, so. boy, is that. So it's like, you know, you're a grown-up like a kid does finger painting. You're a grown-up doing sort of finger painting? Mm-hmm. You realize you can just, like, go into Ooh. the hardware store or anywhere, and whatever you find is something that you can use. It's and, great. And I, I know we don't have much time, but now you're into poodles, which I think yeah. is so different. And, and you really are going to do a lot of poodles. Will you come back and show those to us one sure. day? Sure. I've done almost 100 poodles this year. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to come back again, because we've you. just begun to talk to you about all you do. Thank you very much for Thank being you. with us.
Spoon Popkins' latest show, Find Art, runs through April the 2nd at the Minus Gallery in Baltimore's Hamden neighborhood, located at 815 West 36th Street. You can go to our website, mpt.org, for more information. We'll be right back. A short boat ride away from Smith.